Good morning. <laughs> day. Day number three. Ooh, how was your night last night? Uh, it was cold, but it, but good. But good. Yeah, we're a little iffy on the quilts. They're 20 degree quilts, but two nights in a row now we've both been chilly and ended up in our puffies and I ended up in my liner. Danny couldn't find his, otherwise I think he was in it. So we're figuring out the quilts. Um, but nice night with uh, 20 or so people and uh, nice to talk to some other, there are a bunch of section hikers um, and several through hikers. So we have 16 miles today. Mm, God, I hope it's flatter than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we've been going uphill for two days. Um, we are hoping that the sun is going to peek its head out because we know we have several views in the first five or six miles. So it'd be nice because yesterday was um, a lot of hiking for just some payoff at the end of the day. So here we go for day three. This view doesn't have a name or it didn't, but it does now. <laughs> we were talking and as we came around the corner, Rooney was in the middle of a pot. And what did you say? I forget what we were talking about, but it wasn't. <laughs> we were talking about honestly how difficult it is to sleep and we're considering different sleep systems and that we keep each other awake. But he was like, yeah, when you tell me to, and I think he was going to say, when you tell me to roll over because I'm snoring, then that wakes him up. But instead we got, there we go. when, when you tell me to. You tell me to. <laughs> so this is the oo view. <laughs> the oo view. <laughs> So now I'm sitting on the top of that rock. There's a little more rock going down. There's the Smokies in the background. And down it goes. And I'll definitely make your stomach flutter a bit. All right, so we've been going down for a while. <laughs> I think it was 4.4 uh, from Charles Bunyan. We're almost to the uh, Newfound Gap parking lot. And um, so naturally, anytime you're near a road, there's a lot of day hikers. <laughs> and um, 
Honestly, there's some folks coming up this trail shouldn't that shouldn't be coming up this trail. Some through hikers, but a lot of day hikers that are oh unprepared. Wait, you want to be on video? Last fall. Yes. Holy shit! In Massachusetts. Yes. <laughs> Remind me your name. Uh, Adam. Yeah. But, oh, trail you didn't have a trail name. I didn't have a trail name. I do now. Too early. Uh, too oh, oh my god! god. That's Who hilarious. Too fun. Okay, so that was uh, uh, Adam, but too early is his trail name. We met him in Massachusetts in October. Um, we were finishing the Massachusetts section. He was out doing a training hike, um, and he had told us that he was gonna through hike the trail. And um, as we were approaching him, I saw the Red Sox hat and would have commented there, but he recognized us immediately. Um, I think because obviously we're together. And then he said, I think he said he recognized our um, Iron Man hats as well. And uh, so he's been flipping around a little bit, but right now he is um, finishing the Southern section up to Harper's and then he will, um, Go up and go from, I think he said, the Northern Connecticut line and up to Katahdin. So. That's really awesome. What a coincidence. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the trail is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was very fun. Okay, we're entering Newfound Gap. First kind of any civilization we've seen in three days. It's the beauty of the Smokies. You do not cross any roads but this one. Um, and in a minute, we will show you the famous bathroom and tell you why it's famous. All right, here's the famous bathroom. And the reason that it's famous is because, <laughs> because several through hikers got stuck here um, when they started really early in February and the road was closed and they couldn't continue on. So they couldn't go in either direction, but the bathroom was open. So they had um, heat and water and electricity. Um, and it made it all over YouTube. <laughs> so the bathroom is famous. <laughs> not how I would want to spend a couple days. And at least one of them, if not more, had to get bailed out when the road opened back up. And this is why we like to arrive on foot. Mm -hmm. The mass of humanity. The humanity. All right, that's where we're heading, Mount Collins Shelter. Get away from this mess. Yeah, oh, great. The bathrooms were disappointing in that there was no um, no power. We were hoping to actually be able to charge um, our phones and our battery uh, banks, but that didn't work. So we took uh, took care of business in the bathroom, and we got the hell out of there. There wasn't even running water. Um, just, uh, we did get rid of some trash. That was it. So here we go. finally made it to Mount Collins Shelter. Well, almost. Mm -hmm. Another half mile. That was um, mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty tough hiking. I think we were both completely wore out. That was, uh, let's see, a 15, a little over a 15 mile day. A lot of ups and downs, yeah. Five miles out of Newfound Gap was really hard. That yeah, was hard. Look, she's got a smile on her face. <laughs> A little bit of dinner will bring you back to life. A little dinner, some nice company, no longer going up badass hills. <laughs> that was a tough, I won't say a tough five miles because the last mile, oh, mile and a half that were easy. Yeah. But 
it was a really tough three or three and a half miles. Really hard. So Man, yeah, the Smokies are no joke. So far, they're uh, <laughs> they're proving their worth. Jeez. So we are here at Molly's Ridge Shelter. It's pretty cold, actually. Um, the sun never really came out today, but we still had some amazing views at at where we were. Um, some really nice people again in the shelter, different people. Um, let's see, we had um, Ninja. Ninja. She's from New Hampshire, and she's through hiking. We had a boy with no trail name yet who is from Baltimore. Uh -huh. He went to Homeboy. Boys Latin, and now he's a student at Brown. Um, he's through hiking and trying to be done in time to get to Brown in September. So he's... He'll be trying to go quick. And then four um, kids about Kevin's age, like uh, in college, um, that were all high school buddies in New Jersey. And now um, they're all super smart. But um, so definitely not as many people, but nice people. It was a nice, uh, nice dinner hour with, with all of them. Um, so tomorrow is a much easier, well, <laughs> I don't, I don't a little think it's shorter easier. mileage, no <laughs> Less easier. Less mileage. Yeah, so we have 13-something. Um, but we go over Clingman's Dome first thing in the morning. So that's going to be a hard climb. And uh, we'll see if there's uh, as any sun, but that's why we drove up it the other day, yeah. in case we didn't get sun. It was a hard walk up the sidewalk the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be terrible. <laughs> so we're still having a blast. All right. Good, Good day. times, right? Yeah, three more days. Yeah, we're wow. halfway through the trip. Bummer. That is a bummer. It's going to go quick now. Yep. All right. We'll see you in the morning. All right. Good night.